Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brian Ewell, the Master Superintendent at Uplands Golf Club. And what a difference a year makes. This time last year, we dealt with a dev devastating disease called anthracnose foliar blight. Anthracnose takes advantage of high temperatures and moist conditions. Last July, we had quite a bit of rain in the first few weeks of July. And next thing you know, we hit 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and we started to see devastation, especially on problematic growing greens where we have large trees, for example, behind me here, like this Gary Oak. We're one of the few golf courses that we have mature trees literally within six feet of the edge of the green. And this causes shade restriction of air movement and these types of environments are conducive for the damage that we had. So after we recovered our turf, we had to come up with a game plan of what do we need to do different for this year. And we made a lot of positive changes. And as the ball rollout shows you, the greens are in fantastic condition here. We could hold a PGA Tour event here tomorrow if we wanted to. So one of the first things that we did is we took soil tests. Much like taking a blood test to see, uh, get prescription or recommendations from your doctor, we needed to get recommendations of what we need to do for our fertility program. So from the soil tests, we were able to devise a good nutrition plan for 2020. And a good friend of mine, Dr. Bill Kreuzer, is one of the leading turf pathologists in the world. He's from the University of Lincoln, Nebraska. And Bill was out here last year, and we were looking at some of the anthracnose on the greens at the time. After visiting with Dr. Kreuzer, he had a few great recommendations, and that was to improve our cultural practices and the frequency of it. One of the first things that we did is we increased our venting on our greens where we use an aerator with small aeration tines and we punch tiny little holes in the surface. This allows air and water movement. And then the second thing that we needed to do was to stay consistent with our sand top dressing. Normally in the summertime we would back off of our sand top dressing in the summer because it would get too hot and we figured that the sand would heat up and burn the grass. Dr. Kreuzer said that we would like to top dress the greens uh, to protect the crown of the plant. So if the palm of my hand is the crown of the plant and my fingers are the leaves, the sand top dressing would fill up between the leaves and protect the crown of the plant. So last year when we were mowing, it was wet. We didn't have much top dressing and the mowers were getting down too close to the crown of the plant and we were causing some severe stress which induced the anthracnose as well. So we've been top dressing on a bi-weekly basis. This improves firmness, ball roll, but also most importantly, plant health. And then finally, one of the things that we did was to take advantage of our plant nutrition. So we would use products like phosphites, which is not a fertilizer, and other products like Civitas, which is a mineral oil. This would trigger the plant's natural defense mechanisms for stress such as fungus or drought or heat stress that would trigger the the mechanisms to help the plant stay healthy during these times of need. Secondly, what we did is we provided a granular fertilizer application, which gives us a foundation of plant nutrition. And especially during times of stress, we would do foliar nutrition that we would spray light amounts of fertilizer every two to three weeks. Now we would just spray 0 0.05 of a pound of nitrogen every seven to ten days just to tighten the window so the plant was under stress. So as you can see the greens have responded much better this year. We feel that we've got a hold of uh, future years of managing our turf and uh, keeping anthracnose at bay. Happy golfing everyone.